Hi everybody, I'm Shannon. I'm a professional hunter and an outfitter here at Bushman Safari South Africa. I've been with Bushman for the past 16 years of my life. Bushman is different uh, because it's one of the only true, only archery only areas in South Africa. The size of the property really also separates us from a lot of other guys, just over 22,000 acres. The quality and quantity of our animals are just exceptional. And then also we only do the one hunt per month centered around the dark of the moon. And none, nobody else does that. Finally got it to uh, Johannesburg. It's 22 hours flight time. Last one was 15 hours long. Got a five hour drive and we're finally on the hunting reserve. All right, we got day number two here at Bushman Safaris. Uh, Shannon brought us out to the Elan blind, which is an elevated blind. Uh, hope, hoping to get between a 20 and 30 yard shot. When we pulled in, there was a pretty nice blue wildebeest. So we're hoping he comes back in and uh, we'll see what happens today. We just had a, a nice kudu come in shortly after those warthogs. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have kudu on our list this time, but hopefully next time.
just hit a zebra. It looked like a good hit. Oh man. I'm jittery for you. He's about 32 yards. Looked like I hit him good. So we'll try to call Shannon and get the trackers out here. Got him right here. There's my knock. <laughs> but then he fell down. He fell down right here, got back up and started going and yes. <laughs> uh, see. All right, we're down here uh, in South Africa, Bushman Safaris. I uh, was able to harvest my first African animal on this beautiful zebra this afternoon. Uh, has a really pretty hide on it and can't thank Shannon and the trackers enough for finding him. So we're gonna get, uh, get him cut up and get him out of here and get to sitting in the blind again. All right. Hi, my name is Gert Els. I'm one of the professional hunters here at Bushman Safaris, South Africa. I grew up hunting on my grandfather's farm in Mozambique and when I got older, I pursued my dream, went to college. I did two years of um, PH guiding course, and uh, then I did a little bit of freelancing as well, and I hunted a year in Mozambique. We have 22,000 continuous acres of hunting concession with 16 blinds that, uh, that is on, on top quality. A basic day, hunting day at Bushman Safaris is we get up in the mornings, we eat breakfast, we grab our lunch boxes, we head out to the blinds. And when a client shoots something, we go and retrieve it. Client sits, keeps on sitting in the same blind up until dark, and then we come back, have supper, and we have a good time. All right, we got day three down here at Bushman Safaris. Uh, today we're in the zebra blind. Uh, yesterday I was able to harvest a really nice zebra, so this morning we're gonna see if a blue wildebeest or impala or warhog might come in this morning. But it's supposed to be a pretty nice day, so. We'll see what happens. Just shot a uh, wildebeest. It was about 12 yards. So we called Shannon and the trackers, and they're on their way. They should be here shortly, and we're gonna see if uh, he's dead just down the way. He was like right here. See all that stuff? Hey, he's 
dead right here. He's dead. Oh, told you. He needs a big chase. That looks cool. All right, we're at day three here at Bushman Safari in South Africa. Uh, me and Paul got in the blind this morning. Uh, about 15 minutes after we got dropped off, we had a, a young water buck come in. Uh, shortly after that, we had a uh, young impala come in. And then around 10 o'clock, uh, this guy kind of snuck in. A big, mature wildebeest, and uh, he was cornering away and hit him perfectly. And so we're going to get him out of here and get back in the blind, and Paul's up now. We had a really good morning this morning. Stephen shot a really nice blue wildebeest. Um, the guides wanted us to switch blinds, so now we're in what's called the diker blind. Um, as we pulled up, we saw a bunch of water bugs and kudu, um, as well as a giraffe who's still just just a little bit out of uh, out of the way. He can't see it quite yet, but he's, he's acting like he wants to come back in, so it's my turn right now. Just hoping to put a good shot in on a good animal here. Hey, soon. All right, today's day four at Bushman Safari in South Africa. Uh, last night I shot this Impala. Uh, it was 30 yards, quartering away from me. I shot it a little far back. Uh, we followed the blood track for a little bit last night. Uh, we didn't find it this morning. Nick and the trackers went and found it. Uh, they did a great job. And so we're gonna sit in the blind today and hopefully get Paul something. We're here at the Waterbuck Blind at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. We've had a 
we're only two hours into our sit. We've had a really eventful morning. A nice Impala Ram came in for about 10 minutes. And then a really nice bull blue wildebeest came in for just a short amount of time. Uh, 20 minutes later, two young blessed bucks came in. Um, they just, they walked right on by. And then the last 40 minutes, we kind of had a lull. And then six drafts just walked in and stayed here for the last 20 minutes, feeding, uh, feeding and drinking all the water. So it's been a good morning. Um, looking forward to the rest of the day. Okay, here at uh, Bushman Safaris in South Africa, uh, it's day four and Stephen and I are in the blind all day and uh, we actually saw this bull come in about one o'clock with another bull and they kind of they kind of brawled a little bit and then they took off and about two hours later he just came right back in at 26 yards and um, I dialed up, pulled back and, and let one fly and um, th the shot didn't seem great right off the bat but the, the trackers here tracked it about 75 yards there it was um laying on the ground so i'm so ever thankful for for the trackers and the guys here at bushman's for this 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 mature gims buck Hey Shannon, this is Paul. Paul, can we help you? We just shot a wildebeest. Uh, good shot. Okay, right. On your on, come on. Okay. It is 5.50 and about 20 minutes ago we started packing up because the sun was getting almost no light to shoot and 10 minutes ago a nice wildebeest walks in right at 26 yards gave me a broadside shot put one right in him and he bucked and ran around i think he's about over there somewhere uh, but holy smokes <laughs> that's gonna be two animals in one day Whew, yeah we're gonna wait for shannon and the trackers to get here and we're gonna go find a, a nice wildebeest Hey, we just, uh, the trackers got here and we just tracked around, I don't know, maybe 150 yards, full on blood trail. Um, he's laying over there right now, so we're gonna go take care of him. Okay, we're here at Bushman Safaris and I was able to harvest this mature blue wildebeest uh, right before dark. Uh, the trackers came down and it went about 75, 100 yards and, and expired. Uh, one shot clean through. Um, 
So now we're just here and to take care of it and then get it back to the skin and shed. So I just can't thank the guys enough for helping me, uh, help me get this wildebeest. here at Bushman Safaris in South Africa. Just got picked up by Nick and Johan. Uh, head back to camp for dinner. Um, we saw a decent amount of animals. No shooters today, but hopeful for tomorrow. <laughs> 